Hi guys, good morning. Um, I thought I would film today, and yes, I just got up a few minutes ago. It is quarter till seven, so I guess I've probably been up about 10 minutes because I've already vacuumed the floor um, in the kitchen, and I wanted to show you something real quick. So we're in the laundry room, that's what you hear, but um, I just thought, I don't know if any of you need something like this, but this is what I use right here to vacuum up like the hardwood floor. Um, it's from Eureka, and this part actually comes off, but it will go on carpet or like, you know, tile or hardwood, and that thing has like a lot of suction to it. It works really great. Um, so anyway, I got it at Bed Bath & Beyond, you know, it has like a long handle. Um, the only thing with anything like this, you know, it gets clogged up pretty bad, but I usually have my husband um, take the shop back to it and clean it out because it gets it a little better. Since I was doing laundry, um, it just made me think, how many different loads of laundry do you guys do? I only do three. I do whites, darks, and colored clothes. So darks meaning um, anything, you know, red, navy, dark brown, jeans, anything like that. Um, and then colored clothes, just anything regular colors. I always find it a little strange I mean not to offend anyone that I've seen people separate their laundry out into like six different categories I'm like that's such a waste you don't you know um, washing machines and detergent anymore can definitely clean things and you don't have to worry about I don't know if people are worried about them fading I've never had that problem my clothes look like new um, but anyway I'm standing here in front of this curtain because I wanted to show you I did end up buying these curtains um, I'm, if I end up keeping them, I'd have to put some like double stick tape or something up there because it keeps wanting to, as you see, go over that way. Um, but I wanted to let you see here, um, basically it's just this time of day when it's dark in this room without the blinds being open, is the only time you can see really the contrast of the, the curtains. Um, during the day when we open them, and in the evening, you know, anytime basically the blinds are open, you don't see um, the contrast of the color in here. It's almost, it's too similar to the paint color. And I know right now, you know, you couldn't imagine that because it looks, you know, much darker. But I think because when I open the blinds, I'll show you, um, they're not lined. And that's something I didn't really think of for in here because it doesn't matter in the office. Um, and if you're wondering what I'm talking about, one of my first vlogs I said I thought about putting the same curtains I have in the office in here. I was going to change them out seasonally. Um, and the curtains I did have in here were lined. Um, probably a little bit more expensive. But, um, but I love the pattern and they look great. But I thought about then lining them. Um, I have like some extra, what am I want to call it, flat sheets because we don't use the flat sheet on our bed. Um, so I have extra and I thought, you know, that would be an easy way to line them, you know, just to give them a little bit extra. So I'm going to open the blind and you can see what I'm talking about. Um, see how you can see through them now? I mean, that just looks cheap to me. And my husband was not having it either. And he's one of those, he's kind of, he doesn't say anything unless something's just like, you know, ugh, you know, he doesn't like it. Um, but he agreed, you know, he liked the pattern. And I'm the same way. I'm just like, that's going to bug me. And it looks cheap because you can see through it. So I'm going to see what I can do maybe about lining them. I haven't felt good enough to even attempt it. Um, so anyway, that's the dilemma. So here you can see our pillows. Um, I ended up putting that pillow I got at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, I think, in that. Um, chair. Of course, I have some magazine stuff laid out right now, things I want to look up online. But that's what it looks like. You know, like I said, it's pretty and it lightens up the room, but you still need some contrast, so. Here are the roses. Um, again, they have bloomed so nicely. He always tries to get me like a nice, really deep peach or like salmon color. Um, for our anniversary because he knows I like those because I'm not a huge um, roses fan but I love like unique colors so um, they have like I said they bloom nicely they're very large um, and they smell fantastic I mean I don't think I've ever had roses this scented because they just fill up the entire room I am trying a new coffee I tried it for the first time yesterday I just thought I wanted something different 
So when we were at Walmart the other day looking for something, I found these. Walmart seems to always have the unique kinds of K-Cups. So this is the Donut House Chocolate Glazed Donut. And it has just enough chocolate flavor. I mean, it actually kind of tastes like a chocolate glazed donut, but it's not overwhelming at all. It's just kind of a nice change. And then, of course, I still use my creamer. So this is what's for breakfast. I'm having a half of banana. Um, I ate the other half yesterday and some cereal. Toast with the coconut oil and the almond butter on it and has flax seeds. That's what all the little seeds you're seeing. And my half glass of orange juice. I started taking some vitamins again. And that's it. Hi guys. Well, I thought I would show you my outfit of the day. If you follow me on Instagram, then you're already going to see this before this video. Um, hair is just left over from yesterday. Kind of messy. This is how I like it though. It's just, um, it goes a little flat. Um, so this is what, second or third day. So I curled it real big yesterday, big sections. Um, this is what's left over. I try to put a little bit of hairspray in it to give it some oomph. Um, kind of have a little bit of volume going on at the crown. Um, some of you had asked me in my recent video, which would have been April favorites, if I got my highlights redone, and I haven't. Um, I think they're just standing out a little more because my hair has lightened up overall from being in the sun. So anyway, that's what's going on with the hair. Still have on the Maybelline Pin Up Peach, the Color Whisperer. I'm obsessed with it, seriously. I might have to go look at some other colors, but I've bought so many new lip products lately. I hate to do that yet, but love this one. To me, it's just perfect um, for that great coral without being too orange, you know. Um, as far as eye makeup, um, it's just very messy, kind of like that slept in kind of look. So whenever I want that look... Um, I usually do a, what am I want to say, like a cream shadow base. So I did the Maybelline Toughest Taupe, and then I actually put Burberry, um, what am I want to call it, Midnight Brown over it. A little bit of wedge in the crease, tiny bit of pink ice just for highlight. Um, waterline is MAC Stubborn Brown. And then I just put a little bit of that, um, what am I still want to call it, the Midnight Brown from Burberry underneath. Um, still have on the Rachel K with the Vita Lumiere Aqua. Um, I really think I'm liking this foundation. Um, it gives just really nice, I don't want to say like a glow or a sheen, um, but it, at the same time it looks like skin. Um, and I know a lot of you complimented me on my skin in my April Favorites, which thank you. Um, I think a lot of it is the skin underneath is looking better, but I think some of it was that foundation combo too. Um kind of been loving this pair lately. Um, sorry about that. This is my Ancline watch. I tried to look up the um, style number for you, but I'm not sure they make it anymore. Um, I know several of you asked in the cruise vlogs which one this was. It is almost a carbon copy of a Bulova watch that I'm pretty sure they still make, but the Bulova is like 400 or 450 and this was only like 200 I think. Um, Anyway, I have my Count Me Healthy bracelet and then the one bullet type bracelet I got from Francesca. So, like I said, really loving that combo. Haven't had any nail polish on because I cut my nails really short the other day. They just seem to be acting up a little and um, so I've just kept them short. Sometimes I like it that way. This is the Target um, maxi dress I showed in my haul. And I just love the way it fits. It's so comfortable. Um, you know, I love stripes. Uh, as you can see, this is how it goes to the floor. I'm 5'5", five five, and it's like the perfect length. Now, if you are a little bit taller than me, it may be too short for you, but, um, you know, most of the time maxi dresses are so long on me. This jean jacket is also from Target, but I have had it for years. They probably don't even have the same one, but, you know, you can get a jean jacket like this anywhere. Gap usually has some great ones. Um, I didn't say. Javiana's. These are my old silver ones. Um, that's just it. Um, and I will catch you back in the car. Well, I'm off to run a few errands. I have to go to the bank um, because when we returned our laptop to what am I wanting to say? Costco that we put it on the debit card and I wasn't thinking and of course they gave us cash. So we have all this cash um, you know, hanging around and I don't like to carry that much cash. I mean, I'm lucky if I have $10 on me. So anyway, then um, 
had a couple other checks that I needed to, bought to deposit. I can't talk this morning. And then I need to return something to the post office. I'm actually returning to Nordstrom. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that um, I got that blush and bronzer duo from Dior. I don't know. That was totally a spur of the moment purchase. But it was absolutely gorgeous. Um, and I thought the bronzer itself looked really pretty and not too orangey. Well, when um, they either had like a pink color, rose, whatever they called it, and then a coral. Well, I decided to get the coral because the pink looked crazy bright. Well, so I get the coral home, and as soon as I open it, I was like in shock a little bit because the coral was very bright in person. It didn't look so much online. Um, it's beautiful, and I like swatched it a little. I didn't want to mess it up totally. Um, but it's very bright. The bronzer, I think, would have been perfect. But for that much money, I'm not going to keep it just for the bronzer. Um, because I already have, you know, Bobbi Brown bronzer that I like and some others. So, I'm returning that. And then, um, a lot of you had questions about the Tom Ford lipstick, the Spanish pink. So, I decided to get it when... Um, I'd seen several people talk about this for a long time. I've looked up swatches online. I just never broke down and got it. Well, then, when Lisa showed it in a recent video, I was like, okay, that's it. I'm going to get it. I think it's one of those lipsticks. It just must look good on every single person but me. Um, I did an Instagram picture of that. You guys saw. Um, it just made my lips look like I was, like, 10 plus years older. I mean... I don't think I have a lot of lines in my lips. I mean, you know, I think it's just a normal amount. But boy, that lipstick found every single one of them. And of course, the, you know, the swatches I took in the pictures were like really up close. So it looked even worse than, you know, would normally. But I just didn't think it looked good on me. The formula, it was really nice like on my hand. Um, but when I put it on, I don't know, it just wasn't great for me. Um, you know, so I was really bummed. So I'm returning that. Um, in that order, I also got the Chanel Vita Lumiere Aqua. Um, and I am wearing that, as you know. I wore it, I think this is like the third time. I think I really like that. Um, so I'm not, you know, returning that, but I'm returning the other two things. Because for the price, I mean, you just can't keep things like that. I, I'm not going to anyway. So, um, returning those. Okay, so it's been a little bit and I am getting ready to head home. I had some returns at Belk over the weekend. I bought a couple of dresses that I have no idea why I didn't try them on and it was one of those I knew they probably wouldn't look good so I don't know what I was thinking. Um, but let's see. Um, now I'm headed home because hubby got off work early. We had planned to, he actually ended up getting off work earlier than he thought but we had originally thought today we were going to go um, buy some vegetable plants to plant them. We have a planter in the backyard. We did this last year, but we had a smaller one, and they were so big for the little one we got, especially the basil I got. I got a certain kind that, like, just totally took over. So we got a bigger, um, you know, planter box this year, and Hubby always likes to have like some tomatoes and cucumbers. And we always had a few in Florida, but it was hard to keep them because the birds always ate them. No matter what you put around them, no matter what you did, the birds always got to them. It was crazy. So anyway, um, we saw a week or two ago, but of course it's rained every time since that we've had a chance. Um, at Lowe's, they had some of the best looking plants I had seen. Um, several different kinds of tomatoes. You know, they had basil they had peppers they had everything so I hope they still have them um so anyway that's what we plan on doing we still need to get our flowers I can't believe today's April 30th and we have not planted flowers yet because like most of the country we're several weeks behind in spring so even here in the south you know we've been cold we are probably at least three weeks behind if not a little bit more because I know last year looking back at some pictures um and I know Easter was later last year, but I can always tell by, you know, our anniversaries at the end of the month. Easter, I think, was the week or so before, maybe. I'm not sure. But um, we usually get to plant about the second week in April here. You might get one cold cold snap still, but um, usually you're pretty safe to plant. So, um, we had time over the weekend, but of course it rained. So, and the only time it seems to be nice lately is during the week. So, we might have to start doing a little bit um, during the week, like in the evening. So, 
But anyway, we thought we would get the tomato plants and the cucumber and all that going first. So that's where I'm headed. Um, and I initially went to Belk because um, we have two Belks and I went to a larger one the other day. And I'd had my eye on this Michael Kors bag. Um, it's just a, a small one. But um, I wanted it as like a crossbody bag. And it's actually really similar um, to the Rebecca Minkoff, the Mini Mac, um, which, you know, Michael Kors is kind of known for that, you know, copying, um, you know, really popular bags. But I liked the Michael Kors. They're the same price. Um, well, they, the one they had in the color I wanted, it had some scratches on the leather and she didn't have any more. So I thought, well, I'll just order it. Um, but I thought I'd check this other belt just to make sure. Um, but then I've also been looking for a watch. If you guys follow me on Pinterest, you know, I've th pinned three watches lately. Um, and I really wasn't sure which I wanted, but I can't find, I found one of the two in person. Um, but when I saw it in person, it looked totally different than the picture. The item, you know, number, whatever you want to call it, serial number, whatever, matched up and everything. But it looked like a totally different watch. So, um, those were kind of two things I was looking at for anniversary presents. Um, some years we buy each other something. Some years we don't. It just depends, you know. We're kind of like that. But anyway, I had my eye on a couple things. So, I went to look today but came out empty-handed. So, that's what's going on so far. Okay, so here is our cute little garden. We're going to go back. We weren't sure when we picked them up today, but we're going to go back and get another of each of these tomato plants. One is cherry tomatoes and one is just regular tomatoes. Um, so we'll fill in there. And then we have basil in the center. These are cucumbers. And this is a sweet yellow pepper. But you can just see um, how he's planting over there. Um, you can just see the size box it is. It's nice, um, nice size. You could definitely put more in it, but you know, obviously the tomatoes will get pretty large, so we didn't want to crowd them. And then we ended up getting these more heavy duty stakes to go around the tomato plants because last year the poor tomato plants were so heavy, even though they had little cherry tomatoes on them, no matter um, what kind of stakes we put in, they weren't very good. So we decided just to go for these. Anyway, that's the cute little garden right now. Plus, you know, it'll have one more here and one more there um, in the next day or two. Hey guys, well, we just finished making dinner. Um, we are having mahi. I cooked on the grill. Potatoes. Um, these are just the roasted, like, orida potatoes, but I doctored them up with a little bit of olive oil and some garlic pepper. And then, of course, the green bean and mushroom. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today, and we'll see you next time. Bye.